Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Quite serious about it, by the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about optimal sitting uh, position while driving. This is really key because a lot of people spend a lot of hours in the car. Sure. And I'll tell you, that can absolutely lead to back pain and neck pain if you're not positioned right. right. I think you and I both have, have seen professional truck drivers across the road with back pain. Uh, and oh, often, bus drivers, too. Sure. Yeah. And, and these people are not doing a lot of bending and lifting oftentimes, no. uh, but they're having back problems, and it very likely is from their sitting posture. Uh, sitting is actually generally worse on your back than lifting. I mean, I, I think we're finding that it, it, you know back pain has become a, a sitting problem right. more than a lifting right. problem. So, But this, you know, the lumbar support is a big part of the key for, for answering this, I believe. So... There's a, lot, there's a lot of variations, by the way, too. Right, but, and we're going to get into that. We, yeah. We're going to cover this in detail. As a matter of fact, I think we could write a thesis on this. we got it figured out. Yeah, we but do. Before we go and answer it. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We invite you. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, if you get the chance, wow, that was a fancy minute. Well, get it. better. Uh, go to Bob and Brad and like us, because as we look at you, you look like you could be our friend. Bob. Yeah, threw that, yeah in there, that is nice. Okay, so lumbar support in the car. Uh, the manufacturers of cars are getting better all the time and have factory built in lumbar supports. And I've had patients, when I talk to them about their back pain, I say, you know, do you use a lumbar support in your car? And they say no. And I said, do you have one? You know, it's built into the seat sure. already. And some people aren't they even were, aware they were of it. Unaware. Right. Yep. So I'll go out to the car and show them, and sure enough, they've got a nice, either they're electric ones where you push a button. And the support. Or they got the roll. Yep, or the mechanical roll, and it will push into that lumbar area, and it puts a big smile on it. But it's got to hit you in the right spot. Right. So sometimes right. they may not, and then and that way you may have to come up with your own. Right. Or and actually, sometimes the factory ones don't come out far enough, so you need to use that in addition to a, a supplement. Right. A sure. good good term, Bob. I thought so. So if you look up lumbar support on the internet, or you go to the store, you're going to find. What an array. Yeah, we've, we've got six factory or, you know, a manufactured lumbar supports of all different shapes and sizes. And it's like, well, which one am I supposed to use? Well, we are going to show you a system to guide you to the proper lumbar support. So Guide you to the promised land. Right. So in general, if you have a diagnosis, you may not have a diagnosis, but if you've been to the doctor and they say you've got stenosis, spondylolisthesis, uh, or in general, if sitting down makes your back pain feel better if you've been standing and it hurts, then you're probably going to want to go to a more broad based lumbar one, right. support like this. If you find that walking feels better and if you stretch backwards or you lay on your stomach and you do the press-ups, which I'm not going to get into here, most people are probably going to go with one of these more circular or more specific lumbar supports. Yeah, so the majority, so, more narrow base too. Right. I mean, right. It'd be yeah. around the belt line. So I would say more people will be doing this. Older people, maybe in their 60s above, may want the broad one more. Sure. These are general statements. Now, how do you figure it out? Well, you can take a throw pillow at home, a smaller throw pillow from the couch, or if you can take a uh, towel and you fold it up so it's broad like this. Bob, why don't you have so a So you seat? might need like a beach towel almost even. Would yeah, work, uh, it depends on, on the size of your body and the, and the, oh, the yeah. chair. We're gonna, can you see that? So you're going to take this towel. This is going to be a broad lumbar support. Let's put it, can you lean forward a little bit yeah, more, Bob? Sure. We're going to tuck it down in there. Go ahead, lean into that. And you're going to go in your car and you're going to sit like this and you're not going to sit for more than two minutes. I mean, you're going to do more than two minutes. Go for a drive, half hour right. drive. See how it feels. Use it in your work environment. I right. Mean, I mean, like your work day. Right. Drive to, the, drive to your work. And if that broad lumbar support feels, clearly feels good, and that's the thing about lumbar supports, they'll feel good right away and over time, over a period of a half hour to an hour. Now, if you put that in there and you're not so sure, well, then take a towel roll like this, so you're gonna roll, roll it up round. You can, we got tape on here, you can use rubber bands. And you're typically gonna put that right at about the belt line. Now, yeah, and that's where I like it even maybe a little bit lower. Yep. And I, I like the point pressure like this provides me right now. Right, so, and Bob and I are completely opposite as far as, well, not just in personality, but our backs. Bob likes a, a round 
uh, roll. I like or the broad a, a one. A flat roll, right. even, a flat, narrow roll. So, um, and, and it's clear, I, I'm, I do better with flexion. I got spondyloesthesis. If uh, anybody out there, which about 10% of the population has that, five to 10. So if this feels better, then you're gonna probably look at one of these lumbar supports that are more round in shape. And again, this one's kind of an in-betweener. And to add to our theory here, um, we also believe that a lot of times if you're in the throes of a disc problem, sure. a lot of times I, I see people that want a bigger uh, lumbar support at that time. Right. Eventually they tend to go to less, but they're the ones that might have something this large, right. which to me is really large. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they really are trying to get in, into extension to, to, for that disc problem or sciatica. Right. So, so um, and the other thing is the factory ones, they'll, you'll see their density. They'll say this one's uh, high density or it's more firm, and some are like this one here is a low density. It's more cushy. Um, yeah, the problem with these is, you know, until you buy them, you don't know if it's going to work for you. Like this is an inflatable one. Again, a little, a little flatter mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, not as wide. Right. But, uh, but for some people, this works out really well. Sure. You can adjust the Precisely. how much uh, is in the air. In, in the air. Now, so. if you found that this feels comfortable for you, you want that broad one, and you want to get something better than a towel because these typically are better. These are two. These are the two I use. I like both. This one's actually memory foam, and I really like it. But in the summertime, it's a little warm. Right. And if you live in the north, when it gets below zero, it gets really hard. It gets pretty firm until the car warms up. But it's okay yeah. after about 15 minutes in the car. Uh, but with this, what's that one called, Brad? This is called the Go Lumbar Support. Yeah. Which is a nice one. It's got a nice heavy frame. I've used another one that's almost that looks identical to this in a picture. It will look identical. But the steel frame is weak. Sure. And you sit in it, and it it kind of it just doesn't hold up very well this is built much stronger and you know i use it in the car now bob doesn't like this at all in the car i do works great for me it's not so hot in the summertime which right now we're in the midst of summer in minnesota here in yeah Wisconsin. you know you get your back it's all sweaty when yeah you, you yep. start using it, especially on longer trips i'm I, feeling better already bob i do like this one for a office chair sure i know we're not talking about office chairs today but um because with an office chair, you've got to get forward a little bit. I mean, you you can't lay back while you're working in an office. Right. You're, you're going to be forward. Yep. So that gives you the support that sure. you need to be. This, by the way, also has some, what would you call those little hardened beads almost? Yeah, there. little, little knobby things uh, to give uh, a little uh, a little more airflow. Yep. And plus, it gets a little massage kind of yeah, in your texture. In, yep. And this is inexpensive. Right. Uh, it's, I found less than $10 on, I mean, on the internet. That's shocking to me. Right, it so, is. That's a, a real nice thing to try and get. It's got good reviews, so it does. Uh, you know, we'll we'll give that a thumbs up. Yeah, we'll put it down uh, in our, our supply in our prefer, preferred preferred product. Brad, we'll Amazon. get the, we'll get the words out sooner <laughs> or later. Uh, the memory foam one again, I like it, and I go between the two in the hot summer. In about a month or so, I'll go back to this one. Sure. And this one, it'll feel big at first, but the memory foam, the foam starts to collapse, and you sink right into it. And then you're happy. I am. Bob, Bob would Brad's not happy, I'm yeah, happy. There you go. So, Bob, you want to, yeah, actually, you can't see this against my black shirt, oh, probably. Oh, sure, I can, I can demonstrate it. So, you can see how it fits, fits right in there. So, yeah. again, I like this, in, I, I would use this in an office chair without sure, a doubt. You all, bet. all day long. So why don't you so. stay right there, Bob, and we'll show. Uh, now, we like McKenzie lumbar supports. For these, for the round ones, uh, because uh, that's what you know. McKenzie has really well. He's the one who invented it, right? And, and he, he's support. invented a whole uh, system on how to treat back problems, specifically with herniated discs. And they're high quality. Yeah, I they mean, are. They, 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 they've done a good job in making these. Yeah, so. it's probably going to go lower than this. Yeah, it's going to tuck down in there like I, around I, the belt I, I line. There, yeah. We don't have to go through all three, but you can see there's different diameters. Uh, that, that we have here in different shapes. Uh, so you really, unfortunately, I can't pick one out and say this is for you. You have to try them. Yeah, that's um, the, the problem. But you can certainly start with your own towel. Right. Uh, you know, the towel system and see how that works for you. Sure. So, Bob, I think we covered this at nauseum. I mean, yeah, we are. People are really well aware of lumbar support 
and, and how to at least get a start on what to pick for your car. And remember, we can fix just about anything. Except? A broken heart. There you go. But we're working on it. We'll never stop working on that one, Bob. Wow. <laughs> All right, thanks.